guys, it's Becca. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be doing the update on my Pan That Palette series. I have been working on a pre-made palette, the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics, and I have also supplemented that with a little magnetic palette where I am trying to finish old and depotted shades. So if you're interested in seeing how I have been doing with that, then just keep on watching. So first I'd like to talk about my pre-made palette. This is my year-long Pan That Palette project. I'm going to be working on, hopefully by the end of the year, I will have hit pan in all or most of the shades, but I do not expect that I will have this whole palette finished. Do I hope to have a couple of shades finished? I might, but at this rate, I may not. This is very slow going. I have heard other people when they're trying to pan or work on Urban Decay mattes especially, that they do work really slowly, and this is an all matte palette, except for one of the shades is like slightly um, satin, but I'll go ahead and show you how this palette has been looking. And here is what we are looking like now. I'm pretty sure we had three pans already. This was the first one that we hit, and then in the last update we had these two pans. And then just a couple of days ago, we managed to find this little pan here. At the beginning, at the outset of the project, I had said that I was okay if I didn't hit pan or finish these two shades, but for a couple of months now, I have been combining this shade with other shades in this palette for my brows. So that's why it kind of looks like that deep, narrow little um, pan right there. And I'm going to continue to use that one because I do like how the effect works. I, at first, I was combining this one and this one and this one in my brows. And once I hit pan in that and I got a good dip in there and I said, okay, let me try this one because I don't know that I'll be using this one organically otherwise. So you can see there's a nice little dip in that one now too. So I anticipate that may be the next one that we hit pan on. Um, this here, I do use it quite regularly, mostly just kind of like to blend as a final step. I am wearing six of these shades today, actually. Um, this is one of them, but it's such, I use a fluffy brush and I just um, don't focus where I'm at. So it's gonna be a bit, I have predicted a few times already that I'm gonna hit pan in that one, but now I guess I'm just gonna kind of give up on predicting that. It's, it'll eventually happen, I just don't know when. Yeah, the shades that I'm wearing on my eyes, I have this in my brow bone and in my inner corner, and I have this one in my outer corner, and then I have this one just blending stuff out, and then of course, these three shades I have in my brows. So for the most part, I feel like I did pretty good usage and regular use on most of these shades. However, there are a couple of shades that were barely touched or were not touched at all. So first we have Faith and Pregame. I think those are what those are two called. These ones I did not use at all in this last month. The black shade I only used twice. Of course, I have given myself a buy, basically. Like, I don't have to hit pan in this black shade. If I don't want to, I probably won't. But I should have used these ones at least once in the last month, and I did not. Other than that, everything else it looks like has been used at least five times, and some up to like 20 or 30 times. So I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I am going to have this a close-up picture. I am going to take um, a weight of this so we can see how much actual product I used. But I haven't done the math. I haven't looked at the pictures yet, so I don't know. So I'll have it on the screen somewhere so that we can see. But I feel like... I'm happy with the progress. I just need to remember to use some of those shades that I don't use that regularly. And next we're gonna transition in to my Build Your Own palette, my little supplemental palette. I have been very excited about this one because I get to sh change shades out. I get to take one of ones empty. I can put something new in. If I get bored of something, I can say, no, I'm done with that. We can try something else much more easily than we can with a pre-made palette. I also have kind of smashed into this little palette here, my Color Pan Project Pan. So I do have several ColourPop depotted shades that I've been working on within this palette, and that's my Color Pan Project, at least for now. 
Um, I'm gonna show you what this one has been looking like though. It is kind of higgledy-piggledy like the thing they move where they're at and I've changed out the shades but at least you can see that there's been a lot of changes going on in this one. But here is what it has been looking like. And this is what we're looking like now. I'm sure you noticed a couple of things already. First up, we have one entire empty pan here. This was the matte pink beige. This one was very easy to pair with a lot of the kind of mauvey and pinky looks that I was doing. So we're gonna take that one out. You can see that beautiful, it's getting washed out. There you go, completely empty pan there. So I'm taking that out and we're gonna replace that with a different shade today. And then the other big changes you may have noticed is this shade is like half gone now. This white Too Faced shade, I have cleared out one of the sides there, so I'm pretty proud of that. And then I have just the thinnest ring around the sides of that one. I use this one as my inner corner and brow bone highlight very regularly. I'm debating whether I should repress this one or just keep going as it is. I think I'll just keep going as it is because for now I just use a pointed little pencil brush and I can get in there and pick it up. But if it starts crumbling, like the side starts popping off and little pieces crumble out, then I think I will probably try to repress that one. Let's see if there's anything else exciting in here. I'm sure this pan is getting bigger because I have been falling in love with this shade. It's so pretty, especially I've just been falling in love with peach looks lately. Like who knew, right? But here is what that one looks like. It is so pretty. Like it's not too peach, not too orange, but very shiny and beautiful and just l lovely all over the lid. I have a little bit on the very inner part of my lid today. Um, so as far as my color pan progress, oh, and another thing before I forget, I did add this one in. I guess I moved things around and made some space and I added this one in so that I have another kind of like blendy shade because this one that we finished was a blendy shade and then this one here now is a blendy shade that fixes or fits more with the peachy shades that I've been working on. All right, so as far as the color pan project pan, I had a goal to use each of these little round ones. These are depotted color pop shades five times. And for the most part, I did a good job. I used Labyrinth six times. I used Noble 12 times. I used Precious Cargo 11 times. This is from the Mandalorian palette and the, the child one. And then I only used this one twice. So I did not use that one the number of times I wanted to. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out these two for different shades because I met my goal, but I'm going to keep the Super Shock ones in because I still want to work on those before they dry out. So we will have three new shades that we can choose for this project. So now this is what we're looking like. Got a spot there and then two spots here. And I think that may be how I want to do it. For the rotating shades in my color pan, I'm going to use them five times and then switch them out because here is my collection of depotted color pop shades a couple of other things thrown in that didn't fit anywhere else like these two are obviously not the same size as everything else but they are just sitting here gathering dust so I'm going to try to rotate through them and play with them a little bit all right so what do we have I've been really into peachy shades lately and I think I'm going to want to add something into that effect this one is catching my eye it looks in the pan like there might be a shift to it what is this called it's called Chick. I don't even know what palette this is from. Let's see what we got here. So there's that shade. There's not a lot to it, I guess, but at least it's not the same colors as the other shades that I am working on that are in the peachy kind of family. So that is a potential. Another potential is this one. It's looking very yellow golden in there in the um, viewfinder. Uh, so let's just see. This one is called Zero Clue. I don't know what palette that is from either. I just put the names of the shades on the back. That one is very yellow. That's, whew, I don't, I don't think so. That's not me. Okay, let's try again. There is this shade here. This is kind of orangey. That could be fun. This one is called Big Cocktails. I think this one is from the Yes Please palette. Okay, wow, that's really, really vibrant and orange, but I'm gonna pop that in there. That looks like it would be fun and pair with, well with other things that I'm working on. What else can we grab out of here? Maybe this, maybe that shade. 
I'm gonna swatch that, but I have a feeling now that I've looked at it, it's probably gonna be very similar to some of the shades that I'm already working on in my Pan Those Eyeshadows. Well, it's a lot more pink than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, well, I guess it does look pink. Okay, um, what else can I get? Let me wash my hands and I'll be right back. All right, so I picked a couple of new shades here. We have Butter Cake and Chauffeur. I feel like they're both from the Yes Please palette. I'm looking into these warm shades right now, aren't I? All right, so I think I'm gonna go with Butter Cake. I've always really liked that one, but I don't hardly ever use it. So I'm gonna pop that in and call that a palette. So here is what it's looking like now. Just those bright pops now have changed the shades in here, changed the feel of it. The other thing I'm gonna do is I need to put another shade here. Do I want to put another ColourPop shade and expand my color pan to five shades now? Or do I want to find another shade to finish from my little Ulta palette here? I think I'm gonna get another color pan shade just for now, just because I already have a blending shade, I already have a matte shade, I already have a couple of shimmers, and I have a lot going on already, so I'm gonna have one more shade that we can kind of rotate through. And since this one didn't make it in the original time, we're gonna pop this one in. Chauffeur is gonna go in there, and now we have a really bright, poppy palette. Oh, wait, can I fit it in there? I don't know if it fits. All right, here we go. So that is the crazy mess that my Build Your Own palette is right now. So I do continue to have the goal to finish all of these larger circles and then the little rectangle and square pans. I don't know that I'm going to make myself finish this one here. And the reason for that being is because I just love it so much and I don't necessarily want it to disappear from my collection. So whenever I'm kind of like, okay, I'm good. I don't need to use this one every day anymore. I'll just put this one away because I really enjoy this one. It's so pretty. But the others, yeah, I want to get the little Ulta shades finished. I definitely need to get the little Too Faced and the, these little Ulta shades finished. And this is so close it needs to go. Plus, they're so, so old. All right. And then, of course, now we have five shades in my color pan. I'm going to continue trying to use these two five times each. Um, and then each month, but I'm going to continue to keep those Super Shock ones in the palette and then five times each for these. And if I do that, then I can rotate them out and pick out some new ColourPop shades. I think that's where we're at. So here we are. These are all the shades in my Color Pan Project pan. As you can see, most of them look like they go together really well. Like I can get these four shades, the these three and then of course the little super shot go together really well but then these two also go together really well so I don't think it'll be too hard to use them all I think the green is just going to continue to be the most challenging one because the only other greens I have right now in projects is the Tinkerbell palette and I haven't really been in love with that palette so maybe pairing it with some yellows will help to spice it up for me so kind of as a recap we do have one empty pan. We were able to replace three color pop shades. I do have a new pan that I hit in this one. So good progress there. I have some goals and predictions. I would like to hit pan in the brown shade that I've been working on in my brows in this next month. Maybe we can make it that one I can maybe hit pan on. Maybe this one will surprise us and finally show a pan. I would like to use all of the shades in this palette by the next update. I would like to use my color pan shades five times each and maybe I can finish or at least clear out another corner of this Too Faced one because this has been in my collection so so long and it needs to it needs to go. Anyway that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're staying healthy and safe and in good spirits and I hope I see you guys in the next one. Bye!